hey guys how are you this is gonna be another video of my collection and on this one I'm gonna show you powder blushes okay so you guys know that I love NARS blushes those are my favorite formula so these are every blush that I have that is not a NARS blush and I'm also gonna show you my blush palettes, and that includes my C palettes, in which I have departed a lot of blushes. Also, keep in mind that I have bronzers here and contours, but I have a few blushes that didn't fit anywhere else. And these are a few palettes that I own. So before we go into the blushes, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's just go in and check my blush collection. Okay, I'm gonna start with these two blushes. This is actually one of my favorite blushes of all time. This I've repurchased. This is the Illy Masca blush in the shade Katie. And it's a super light baby pink. These blushes are powdery, but they blend so beautifully and they're extremely, extremely pigmented. And another one that I have that I don't really use is the powder blusher, also from Illy Masca in the shade Tweak. It's more of a reddish tone. Those are not actually my jam. These are actually blushes that I only have one of each brand. This first one is the Cargo Blush in the shade Ibiza. And you can see right here, this is a pink blush and it's also a waterproof one. I like the formula, but I don't actually love the shade. So it's not one that I use that much. But Cargo, it's an amazing brand and I love their bronzer. Another one that I have that I'm actually thinking about putting it in a declutter bin. It's the NYX blush in cinnamon. This is the old packaging and this used to be one of my favorites but it's just really old and I don't really use it. So maybe it's it's still okay because I always clean them but maybe my sisters-in-law will want it because I'm just not using it, not giving it too much love. It's the Too Faced Peach Blush. This is in the Papa Don Peach shade and this actually smells like, pe like fake peaches and it's a beautiful blush. Sort of like orgasm but more bronzy another one that's beautiful but i don't really show it a lot of love either is the blush and brighten by laura geller in the shade sunswept this is a beautiful summer shade and you guys will see right here it has a beautiful beautiful brightening effect and it's also super bronzy with a hint of coral so this is one of the most beautiful blushes that i own so i'm actually thinking right now that i'm putting it out to put it in a project pan or project progress just to use it more Another one that I have here is the Bare Minerals blush in the shade Beauty. This is a pink blush and it's just a deluxe sample size. It has a ton of product here but again it's pink so I almost never wear pink blushes anymore. They used to be my favorite that's why I have so many. Don't reach for them as often anymore. When the Clinique Chic Pops blushes just came out i wanted one so i bought plum pop and i know that everybody raves about the formula i just couldn't say because i just don't love the shade it's just a plummy shade and i'm not that into purpley blushes maybe i should just wear them or pull them out when it's springtime but i just i'm not obsessed with the shades i don't know why i keep them it's just that blush is one of my favorite things from makeup. This is a new one, sort of. I got it in the 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta. This is the Urban Decay After Glow Blush in the shade Indecent. And it's actually a beautiful color that I also need to pull out more. Sort of a peachy with milk kind of shade. And those are my jam. Those are, I, I adore. I prefer warmer brushes than cooler tone blushes. Okay, so these are my Lorac blushes. These are the buildable blushes, and this one is the Bake Matte Satin Blush. It has nothing matte about it. This one, I think it's discontinued. I don't really know if they carry this anymore. This I bought because that girl Shay mentioned that on a video, and I had to have it because I was in a pink mode when it came to blushes. But as you can see, it's similar to the Clinique one. It's just... It has more shimmer to it but these are not my type of shades I don't know why I still have it I just hang on to makeup like a crazy person from this line I really like this formula I don't love the highlighters a lot but the blushes are really nice I have the shade prism which is my favorite Technicolor and then I have chroma chroma is my least use of them again it's a plummy shade just like sort of a purpley shade and those are not the kinds of shades that I wear. This one is wearable though because it goes more to the nude side. 
but it still is not my favorite but this one oh my god you guys if you are looking for a new blush this is a beautiful one because this i love baby color blushes so everything that has a little bit of white in it it drives me crazy so this one is really pretty you can see that it's not that peach or orange but it's not that pink either it's just right in the middle so these are the ones that I have from Benefit. My oldest one is the Rocketeur blush. This was new when I got it and I haven't loved it as it deserves to be loved. It has a beautiful scent. It's sort of a rosy scent and it's a really pretty blush, uh, an everyday type of blush, but it has a sheen to it. Another one that it's the newest edition, but I've used it just like two times to be fair to myself i've been doing project pan so i haven't been able to play with everything that i have because i've been just focusing on products that i want to finish i have to just do a project progress and pick five blushes or just one blush a week sort of video and maybe that will help me use more of my blushes because i actually do love blushes this is one of my favorite blushes it's a beautiful shade this is in the shade dallas it's just stunning these are hard to swatch for me with my long nails but they're beautiful they don't swatch as beautiful as they look this one is really really pretty i love 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 nude blushes these two i bought on the same purchase this is dandelion and this is a baby pink but it it's super light i thought this was gonna be more flattering on me and it looks pretty but it's not as amazing as dallas this is really baby pink and it's sort of a wash of color it's good for every day but it's not one of my favorites it just doesn't look perfect on my skin but i still love it though okay so these are my tiny tart blushes these i actually got as holiday sets and I wanted to try the formula because I've just had one before. I put it in a C palette, so that means that I use it more on my kit than on myself. Super pretty. So I have two on my project pan, which are this one, just to make progress on it. It's the shade Static. And the other one that I have is in the shade Party. And this I got as a BIB member uh, happy birthday gift. I've already hit pan. It's a beautiful formula and they're super pigmented and they last a long time on the cheeks the rest i haven't really played with them i've just swatched them before entertain then the shade unstoppable which looks beautiful but it hasn't been even touched and it's almost a year old i have it in the shade embellish this has shimmer to it then sincere this is also a beautiful one with shimmer I have a Stellar. This is one of the prettiest. This is sort of like an orgasm type of blush. This will look beautiful on the summer or spring. I also have Surprise, which is a matte pink. And then Supreme. Okay, that's actually broken, so I'm gonna just declutter that. Another two blushes that I have are the Hourglass blushes. I have two. One in Luminous Flush and then the other one in Radiant Magenta. And as soon as I got them, I actually regretted them because they are the same color they look completely different one has the luminous powder in it and the other one has the radiant powder in it which is my favorite they just look so similar i'm gonna swatch them so that you guys can see what i mean this is radiant magenta and the other one it's luminous flush i know that maybe someone is gonna find uh difference maybe this one is more corally or something but on the cheeks they look exactly the same so if i had to choose one i would probably choose radiant magenta because it has my favorite hourglass powder in it now that i'm doing this video i'm feeling sort of guilty because i don't use my blushes a lot so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna create a tag or i'm gonna just create a new video just related to blushes another formula that i know i've told you guys before that i adore is the becca blushes formula they have two types of formula the luminous blush and the mineral blush so i'm just gonna divide it and then i'm gonna add these two palettes so let's do the mineral blushes first this is gypsy this was my first becca blush and this is actually discontinued baby pink with a hint of golden sheen and it's really beautiful I'm sorry that they discontinued this, but this is amazing. It has a pink shift and I haven't given that up because it's the only color that I have that is this way. You can see right there how it's picking the shift. It's really beautiful. It's like nothing else I have in my collection. Another one that I have is the Wild Honey Blush. 
and this one is actually one of my favorite blushes of all time this is just a stunning a stunning blush this is beautiful okay so wild honey is my favorite becca shade and then another one that i adore is on this palette and it's the shade songbird and i think it's one of the most beautiful becca shades but these blushes are right there with nars in quality i adore them they're really really beautiful high quality super expensive but you only need the tiniest amount and then another one that i have that's a mineral blush also and this is the latest that i've gotten this is flower child and this is one of my most favorite blushes to be honest i can't choose between the becca blushes because they're just too stunning all of them so i'm gonna swatch them for you since they're one of my top favorite formula then this palette i got it last year actually for $17 because it was on sale right at this time on black friday and this shade it's called wisteria it's also a beautiful nude pinky shade i use this a lot of my clients and then another one that i have that's a luminous blush is a snapdragon and that one i also have in a single because it's stunning stunning shade you can see here that snapdragon is actually similar to flower child but it's actually a little bit deeper so another luminous blush that i have is tiger lily and this is one of my favorites because i love orange blushes this is beautiful on the cheeks as well these are completely summery and spring kind of shades and then i also have snapdragon in a single and i'm gonna swatch it to see if it looks a bit different no it's exactly the same so that's good that when you buy a palette the colors are completely equal because benefit sometimes i've noticed that people complain a lot about that that they make a product and then when they make it in a palette they completely change the formula on the product it comes in the sun chaser palette and it's the shade Africa blossom this is beautiful also and it's more of a corally vibrant shade and it's beautiful for summer and i almost forgot about this one these were favorites for me these are the becca blush that came with the jaclyn hill palette one it's the luminous one which is rose spritz then amaretto and pamplemousse are both mineral blushes and they're all stunning but my favorite are rose spritz and amaretto amaretto was in my favorites of the year for last year this is just a stunning stunning blush and then rosette spritz it's really vibrant and beautiful and it looks a lot like orgasm but better and then pample mousse is more of a reddish type of shade also super vibrant and high quality this palette was actually one of the best purchases i've ever made when buying makeup now these are my three chanel blushes i have two that i adore and one that i'm not obsessed with because i don't know what i was thinking it wasn't made for my skin tone so i sometimes carry it on my kids when i have a deeper skin tone client it's just too dark for what i like it's the plum attraction powder blush and this one it's really dark they don't swatch as beautiful as they perform on the cheeks and this one as you can see has glitter it's just not my favorite shade this is also one of the best formula blushes that i found another one and this one i adore this is in the shade golden sun and i have a couple more chanel blushes i want to try this shade it's unbelievable and it's beautiful with a smoky eye it's just stunning and the scent they they feel expensive the the scent is super expensive they're just beautiful blushes and i wish i had the entire collection they're just beautiful another one that's right there with golden sun is the shade rose petal and this one is sort of an orgasm type of shade and these are my favorite shades of every brand like i said chanel doesn't swatch as beautiful as it performs they just look stunning on the cheeks but they're just really really pretty but you saw that golden sun swatch amazingly and that's my favorite one of the three okay so these are my mac blushes and mineralized skin finishes which actually work as blushes so this one is alpine bronze and this one is warm soul the old formula 
these two are beautiful i wish i could find alpine bronze again or that they would come up with that again because it's one of my favorite blushes these two have been through a lot with me i carry them on my kit almost every time i do makeup and i removed them almost like six months ago because i didn't want to heat pan on them you can't just find them anymore they're just amazing but they're discontinued both of them uh, another one of my favorites is rosy outlook and it's this one right here and that one i heat pan on it's just beautiful and another one that i adore i love this formula this is the mineralized blush formula this is the one in petal power and it's really stunning and a sister of it it's the azalea in the afternoon and these ones i got them when they were released in a collection and i think now they're both permanent and they're beautiful on the cheeks these are a few that I don't really use, like Honey Jasmine, this one was full of joy, and that one is just fuchsia. Another one that I adore is the, the nude one. This is the extra dimension one in the shade at dusk, and this is just a nude blush. Really pretty. This one I barely touch. I've just swatched it and dig my nail in it. This is from the Alrin Aquatics collection, and it's in this shade Seduced at Sea. And I, I have to pull this one more because it's just brand new. The other ones I've played with, sort of, but this one is just new and unused, and it's a beautiful shade. Bronzy for summer, this should be perfect and then another one that i have that i adore also is bareness you guys can see that the ones that are nude i actually use them more than the other shades that are super bright then for the mineralized skin finishes i have this one that i love and it's beautiful on blonde this is the shade cheeky bronze and it's actually a really highlighty blush but i think it's it looks better on the cheeks than as a bronzer and it looks beautiful on the eyes as well this is a really pretty blush and then i have a couple here that i don't remember what collection it was but i got them together this is in the shade rio this has been the most used out of the three that i'm gonna show you but it's really pretty it's a bronzy with a pink adored which is more of a highlighty shade depending on where you swatch it if you put your mind to it you can make it orange but really luminous so I keep it with my blushes. And then another one that I have from the same collection is in the shade Lust. And this one, I don't remember even swatching it, to be honest, maybe at store like 10 years ago. But that one, it's like a plummy shade. So they're completely different from each other, but they're beautiful. And every single MAC blush that I own is different. That's something I like, because sometimes I tend to purchase the same shades. But on these range, they're all completely different even these two one has a lot more pink that is warm sole right here than alpine bronze and when you swatch them i don't even want to swatch them because i don't want to waste any of it but one is bronzy and the other one is bronzy with a lot of pink these two are just c palettes and they have mostly makeup geek but they also have a Too faced blush and then a few milani blushes sigma nars tarte and jordana but I'm gonna just swatch my favorite blushes. This one, it's one of my favorites. You guys can see a pattern right here. This is Romance by Makeup Geek and it's really, really beautiful. An orgasm kind of shade. Then Infatuation is by far my favorite. If you wanna buy a Makeup Geek blush, just get this one. It's just beautiful, beautiful on the skin. Then another one that I adore is Summer Fling, which is an orange one. And I think they reformulated them, but I have the old formula and they were perfect. So I don't know what Marlena could have done to make them even more perfect. They were already beautiful. So the other two that I adore are Bliss, which is this one. It's a really light blush, but it looks beautiful on the cheeks. And the other one that has more yellow in it is Smitten. It has a lot of white and it's really, really beautiful. You can see it right there. So I would highly recommend that if you're gonna get a Milani blush, get either Rose Dioro, which is this one, or the Milani blush in Luminoso. It's amazing. And then pass on the Too Faced blush. It's just not worth it. It wasn't that pretty or I don't know. It comes in a bulky packaging and it doesn't have that much pigmentation to begin with. Then I have the Colorete brand in different shades, Arequipe, Pétalos de Rosa, Mousse de Naranja, and 
frutos del bosque. These are beautiful, but the truth is they need to make the packaging a little more friendly because the beads come out of them. So they're just this formula that you shake them, put your brush in them, but the beads come out and get everywhere. So for me, that doesn't make any sense. They need to just put up, put them in a bigger packaging. The concept is amazing. The formula is beautiful, but they just need to put them in a better packaging. So these are Colombian. If you want to try them, I'm going to leave the info where you can find them down below. Okay, so I have three more and that's it for my blush collection. This is the Sweet Peach Glow by Too Faced and it's a palette and it comes with one blush. It doesn't have a shade, it's just the blush in the middle. <laughs> and it's a really orange shade which is beautiful and I've used this palette a lot for my kids and for myself. This powder is called the Nude Shimmer and it's in the shade 02 Amber and this works for me as a blush. It's supposed to, it was supposed to be a highlighter but it wasn't and it, it's not a powder either. So this is more of a nude blush and it's really beautiful. I was using that a ton but then I don't know why I stopped and I forgot it on my drawer. But this one I'm actually gonna pull out because it's really really stunning and it was super expensive as well. This one I haven't even swatched. It's the Physicians Formula Butter Blush in Plum Rose and this one smells amazing like the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer but it doesn't look as pretty when you swatch it. It just looks... Well, maybe it looks like madly from NARS, so maybe I have to put it on my cheeks to see if that's gonna work for me because it's like a seashell pink, but it's too taupe maybe for me. I don't know. I'm gonna try that on the cheeks, and if not, I will declutter this one. That was everything for my blush collection, everything that's not NARS. And now I'm gonna count the blushes and I'm gonna tell you how many I have. Okay guys, so that's everything. I have 84 blushes that are not NARS. And I'm gonna reduce that number by three because I'm gonna declutter the Bare Minerals one, the Tarte Supreme that was broken that I'm gonna fix it for my sisters-in-law, and then the blush NYX in the shade Cinnamon. So these are going out, so I'm left with 81 blushes. I know it's insane, but like I said, blush is one of my favorite makeup products. So that's it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see next. And also, let me know what type of blushes do you like, what brands do you like, and why do you love them. And let me know if you want to see my NARS blush collection is just a beautiful one and it's taking me years to put it together so that's it guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you on the next one bye